Hello world. Sun's back in defiance. Blue skies. A little warmer today. Actually going to be hot tomorrow. Take each day as it comes. Laurel's using the time outside to um, power wash our deck. So if you hear a motor running in the background, that's what it is. Taking advantage of the nice weather. The still speaking daily devotional today is entitled The Feast at the Feeder and is written by Vicki Kemper. And it's based on Matthew chapter 6, verse 26, Common English Bible. Look at the birds in the sky. They don't sow seed or harvest grain or gather crops into barns, yet your heavenly parent feeds them. And Vicki writes, Working from home these days, I have more time to watch the birds at my feeder. Sweet chickadees, upside-down nuthatches, tufted titmice, tiny goldfinches yellowing up by the day. But it's the woodpeckers that humble me. Whatever the species, hairy, downy, or huge and resplendent red-bellied, they approach my tube feeder in precisely the same way, as if it were a tree. The feeder's not a tree, of course, but trees are what woodpeckers know, and pecking for insects is what they do. And so they stare at the plastic tube encased in metal mesh as if pecking at the right place will yield yummy grubs or ants. When it does not, they protest, loudly. At the base of the feeder, meanwhile, a feast awaits them. Peanuts, raisins, dried cherries, almonds, pistachios, and more. We're accustomed to finding meaning and purpose in doing and busyness, but stay-at-home orders prevent much of that. Unable to prove our worth by working, we're less sure of who we are and what difference it makes. Without structure, we feel lost. Unable to pay the bills, we feel scared. Separated from our loves, we get angry. This is not to discount the magnitude of suffering, death, and heroic sacrificial sacrifices happening every day. It's all too real, and it must motivate us to remake the world. Meanwhile, the flowers of the field still grow, the birds of the air still eat, and the feast of the divine love and grace that carries us throughout our days never runs out. In Vicki's prayer, Holy Feeder, thank you for taking care of us, even now, still now, always. Amen. And sometimes I wonder if part of our frustration uh, during this um, this pandemic time is that um, we can't stop seeing things the way we saw them before the pandemic. Kind of like the, the woodpeckers um, not being able to see the nuts and seeds on the ground because that's not what they're used to seeing. So Give it a chance today. Try to look for something different or try to see the world in a different way. Don't look for what you used to look for before the pandemic. Look for God at work in the world. Look at God at work in creation and the beauty of all of God's creation. Have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon.